Encounters forty to forty two of Book four of the Ramayam of Balmiki, translated by Ralph T. H. Griffith. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Om One Two Three. Canto forty, the army of the East. With practiced eye, the king revered the banner's countless multitude, and joying that his haste was done, thus spake to Raghu's mighty son. See, all the banner hosts who fear, my sovereign might are gathered here, chief strong as in Ra's self, whose speed, wherever they list, these armies lead fierce and terrific to the view as deities or the down up crew famed in all lands for souls afire with lofty thoughts they never tire over hill and vale they wander free and islets of the distant sea and these gathered myriads all will serve thee rama at thy call whatever thy heart advises say Thy mandates will the host obey. Then answered Rama, as he pressed the banner monarch to his breast. O oh, search for my lost Sita, strive to find her if she still survive, and in thy wondrous wisdom trace fierce Ravan to his dwelling place. And when by toil and search we know where Sita lies, and where the foe, with thee, dear friend, will I devise, fit means to end the enterprise. Not mine, not Lakshman's is the power, to guide us in the doubtful hour. Thou, sovereign of the banners, thou, must be our hope and leader now. He ceased, at King Sagriva's call, Near came a banner, strong and tall, Huge as a towering mountain, loud, As some tremendous thunder cloud. A prince, who warlike legions led, To him his sovereign taunt, and said, Go, take ten thousand of our race, Well trained in law of time and place, And search the eastern region, true, Groves, woods, and hills, thy way pursue. There seek for Sita, trace the spot, Where Robin hides, and weary not. Search for the captive in the caves, Of mountains, and by woods and waves. To Sergio, Kausiki, repair, Vagret's daughter, fresh and fair. Search mighty Yaman's peak, explore, Swift Yamuna's delightful shore. Saraswati and Sindhu's tide, and rapid Sona's pebbly side, then roam afar by Mahi's bed, where Kala Mahi's groves are spread. Go where the silken tissue shines, go to the land of silver mines. Visit each isle and mountain steep, and city circled by the deep, and distant villages that high about the peaks of Munda lie. Speed over Yavadipa's land, and see Mount Sisir proudly stand, Uplifting to the skies his head, by gods and danavs visited. Search each ravine and mountain pass, each tangled thicket deep in grass. Search every cave with utmost care, if haply Rama's queen be there. Then pass beyond the sounding sea, where heavenly beings wander free, and Sona's waters swift and strong, with ruddy billows foam along. Search where his shelving banks descend, search where the hanging woods extend. Try if the pathless tickets screen the robber and the captive queen. Search where the torrent floods that rend the mountain to the plains descend. Search dark abysses where they rave, Search mountain slope and wood and cave, Then on with rapid feet and gain The inlands of the fearful main, Where tortured by the tempest slash, 
against rude rocks the billows dash an ocean like a sable cloud whose margent monstrous serpents crowd an ocean rising with a roar to beat upon an iron shore on onward still your feet shall tread shores of the sea whose waves are red where spreading wide your eyes shall see the gilt tormenting cotton tree on the wild spot where garou dwells which gems adorn an ocean shells high as kailasha nobly decked wrought by the heavenly architect huge giants named mandehas there in each foul shape they love to wear numbing the cell with terrors chill hang from the summit of the hill when dirts the sun his earliest beam they plunged him in the ocean stream new vigour from his rays obtain and hang upon the rocks again speed onward still your steps shall be at length beside the milky sea whose every ripple as it calls gleams glorious with its wealth of pearls amid that sea like pale clouds spread the white mount rishav rears his head about the mountain's glorious waste woods redolent of bloom are braced a lake where lotuses unfold their silver buds with threads of gold Sudarshan ever bright and fair where white swan spot lies gleaming there the wandering kinners the year resort where heavenly nymphs and yaksha's port on leave the milky sea behind another flood your search shall find a waste of waters wild and drear that chills each living heart with fear there see the horse's awful head rat bone that flames the ocean's bed there rises up a fearful cry from the sea things that move thereby when helpless powerless for flight they gaze upon the horrid sight pass to the northern shore and then beyond the flood three leagues and ten your wandering glances will behold mount jatarupa bright with gold there like the young moon pale of hue the monstrous serpent will ye view the art supporter whose bright eyes resemble lotus leaves in size he rests upon the mountain's brow and all the gods before him bow ananta with a thousand heads his length in robes of azure spreads a triple-headed palm of gold meet standard for the lofty soul springs towering from the mountain's crest beneath whose shade he loves to rest so that in eastern realms each god may use it as a measuring rod beyond with burning gold aglow the eastern steep his peaks will show which in unrivalled glory rise a hundred leagues to pierce the skies and all the neighboring air is bright with golden trees that glowed the height a lofty peak uprises there ten leagues in height and one league square salmanas wrought of glistering gold never to be loosened from its hold there his first step lord bishnu placed when through the universe he paced and with his second lightly pressed the loftiest peak of Meru's crest. When not of Jumbo Deep, the sun, a portion of his course has run, and hangs above this mountain height, then creatures see the genial light. Vaikanasas, saints far renowned, and Balakelias love the ground, where in their glory half divine, touched by the morning glow, they shine the light that flashes from that steep illuminates all sedation deep and on each creature as it glows the sight and strength of life bestows search well that mountain's oody sight if robin dare his captive hide the rising sun the golden hill 
the air with growing splendors fill till flashes from the east the red of morning with the light they shed this while the sun begins his state is out in heaven's most eastern gate through all the mountain forest seek by waterfall and cave and peak search every nook and bosky dell if raven there with cedar dwell there banners there your steps must stay no farther eastward can ye stray beyond no sun no moon gives light but all is sunk in endless night thus far o banner lords may you over sea and land your search pursue but wild and dark and known to none is the drear space beyond the sun that mountain whence the sun ascends your long and weary journey ends now go and in a month return and let success my praises on he who beyond the month shall stay will with his life the forfeit pay Counter forty one the army of the south he gathered next a chosen band for service in the southern land he summoned nila son of fire and offspring of the eternal sire jambavan bold and strong and tall and hanuman the best of all and many a valiant lord beside with ungard for their chief and guide go forth he cried with all this host exploring to the southern coast the thousand peaks that vindhya shows where every tree and creeper grows where narvada's sweet waters run and serpents bask them in the sun where krishnaveni's currents flee and sparkles fair godavari through mekhal pass and utkal's land go where the serenous cities stand avanti seek of high renown and avravanti's glorious town search every hill and brook and cave where dandak's woods their branches wave ayamok's woody hill explore where sights are bright which reachest all lifting his glorious head on high from bloomy groves that round him lie search well his forests where the breeze blows fragrant from the sandal trees then will you see kaveri stream whose pleasant waters glance and gleam and to the lovely banks and ties the sportive maids of paradise high on the top of malaya's hill in holy musing calm and still sits radiant as the lord of light augustia noblest anchorite soon as that lofty thoughted lord his high permission shall accord past tamraparni's flood whose isles are loved by basking crocodiles the sandalwoods that fringe her side those islets and her waters hide while like an amorous matron she speeds to her own dear lord the sea thence hasting on your way behold the pandya's gates of pearl and gold then with your task maturely planned on ocean shore your feet will stand where by augustia's high decree mahendra planted in the sea with tinted peaks against the tide rises in solitary pride and glorious in his golden glow spawns back the waves that beat low fair mountain bright with creepers bloom and every tint that trees assume where yaksha god and heavenly maid meet wandering in the lovely shade a changing moon and solemn tide by indra's presence glorified one hundred leagues in fair extent an island fronts the continent no man may tread its glittering shore with utmost heed that i'll explore for the fair country owns the sway of raven whom we born to slay a mighty monster stands to keep the passage of the southern deep lifting her awful arms on high 
she grasps even shadows as they fly speed through that isle and onward still where in mid-sea the flowery hill raises on high his bloomy head by saints and angels visited there with a hundred gleaming peaks bright as the sun the sky he seeks one glorious peak the lord of day gilds ever with his loving ray thereon never yet the glances fell of thankless wretch or infidel bow to that hill in reverence dear and then once more your search pursue beyond that glorious mountain high and suryavan proud hill is nigh your rapid course yet farther bend where by dudes airy peaks ascend there trees of noblest sort profuse of wealth their kindly gifts produce their precious fruits of banners taste the honey sip and onward haste next will ye see mount kunjer rise who cheers with beauty hearts and eyes there is augustia's mansion decked by heaven's all moulding architect near vogavati stands the place where dwell the hosts of sop and rays a broad weight city walled and bowed which watchful legions keep and guard the fiercest of the serpent youth each awful for his venom toot and throned in his imperial hall is vasuki who rules them all explore the serpent city well search town and tower and citadel and scan each field and wood that lies around it with your watchful eyes beyond that spot your way pursue a noble mountain shall ye view named rishav like a mighty bull with gems made bright and beautiful all trees of sandal flourish there of heavenly fragrance rich and rare but though they tempt your longing eyes avoid to touch them and be wise for rohitas a guardian band of fierce gandharvas round them stand who five bright sovereign lords obey in glory like the god of day here by good deeds a home is won which shapes like fire the moon the sun here they who married heaven by what dwell on the confines of the earth there stay beyond it dark and drear lies the departed spirits fair and guard with darkness far from bliss is yama's sad metropolis so far my lords over land and sea your destined course is plain and free beyond your steps you may not set while living thing never journeyed yet with utmost care these realms survey and all you meet upon the way and when the lady's course is traced back to your king o banners haste and he who tells me he has seen after long search the mighty queen shall gain a noble garden he in power and bliss shall equal me dear as my very life above his fellows in his master's love i call him yet though stained with crime my kinsman from that happy time canto forty two the army of the west then to susain sugriba bent and thus addressed him reverend two hundred thousand of our best with thee my lord shall seek the west explore surastra's distant plain explore balika's wild domain and all the pleasant brooks that flee through mountains to the western sea search clustering groves on mountain heights and woods the home of anchorites search where the breezy hills are high search where the desert regions lie search all the western land beset with woody mountains like a net the country's farthest limit reach and stand upon the ocean beach 
they wander through the groves of palm while the soft air is full of balm through greasy dell and dark ravine seek raven and the metal queen go visit somagori's steep where sintu mingles with the deep their lions born on swift wings roam the levels of their mountain home and elephants and monsters bear caught from the ocean to their lair hugh banners changing forms at will with rapid search must scour the hill and his sky-kissing peak of gold where loveliest trees their blooms unfold there golden peaked ablaze with light uprises pariyatra's height where wild gunders fierce and fell in bands of countless myriads dwell pluck ye no fruit to dinda oud beware the empire's neighbourhood where very mighty strong and hard to overcome the fruit they guard yet search for janak's daughter still for banners there need fear no ill near bright as turkeys vajra named there stands a hill of diamond framed soaring a hundred leagues in pride with trees and creepers glorified search there each cave and dark abyss by waterfall and precipice far in that sea the wild waves beat on chakravan's farm rooted feet where the great discus thousand raid by Bishokarma's art was made when panchajan the fiend was slain and hyagriva fears in vain then taking shell and discus went lord bishnu god preeminent on sixty thousand hills of gold with wandering eyes shall ye behold where in his glory every one is brilliant as the morning sun full in the midst king mary best of mountains lifts his lofty crest on whom of yore as all have heard the sun well pleased this boon conferred on thee o king on thee and thine light day and night shall ever shine gandharva's gods who love thee well and on thy sacred summits dwell undimmed in lustre bright and fair the golden sheen shall ever share the bisvas basus they who ride the tempest every god beside draw nigh to meru's lofty crest when evening darkens in the west and to the parting lord of day the homage of their worship pay ere yet a while unseen of all behind mount astar's peaks he fall wrought by the heavenly artist's care a glorious palace glitters there and round about it sweet birds sing where the gay trees are blossoming the home of barun high-souled lord wrist guarded with his deadly cord with ten tall stems a palm between meru and astar's hill is seen pure silver from the base it springs and far and wide its lustre flings see graven and the dame by brook in pathless glen in leafy nook on meru's crest a hermit leaves bright with the light that penance gives Savarni is a name renowned as brahma's peer with glory crowned there bowing down in reverence speak and ask him of the dame you seek thus for the splendid lord of day pursues through heaven his ceaseless way shedding on every spot his light that sinks behind mount astar's height thus far advance the sunless sea beyond is all unknown to me so shame of mighty arm long tried in peril shall your legions guide receive his words with high respect and never his lightest wish neglect he is my concert sire and hence deserves the utmost reverence 
End of Cantos 40, 41, and 42